Oh man, good morning everybody. Let's get straight into it. I just saw an interview with Freddie Roach, right? It's been a while since I heard anything about Pacquiao and who he's going to fight next. But that one interview with Freddie Roach gave me a lot of answers. Yeah, it gave me a lot of answers and it got me thinking. He, he came up with a couple of topics. He said, Manny Pacquiao is his Muhammad Ali, you know, four-decade champion. He's breaking records every time, okay? Eight, divi uh, eight division in 2020, 2010, right? In 2019, he got a bell from Keith Thurman, right? And who knows what he's going to do in 2020. So, uh, I'm, I'm, and you know what? I'm not a big Freddie Roach fan, but uh, when he says something, I, I listened somewhat. From time to time, like you know, you know, he, I, I used to hate when Freddie Roach would say, you know, I think Manny should retire. Yeah, he said a couple of times, you know, you know, I don't know how long he's gonna be able to do this, but the tune changed now. The tune changed in this video. It was more positive than you know. Well, I think Manny maybe this should be his last fight. I don't know how, or because he's doing central duties, but now he's seeing something different now. You know, because he was saying, well, he's not, he's distracted by his central duties and he's not the same man. I think he should be. Okay, but now guess what? He said a couple of things that interest me that should interest you. Sometimes indirectly you get answers without even knowing the answer, but you still could get it. You understand what I'm saying? So when I heard him say, they asked him, well, when, when, he, when do you think he should retire? He said, well, Manny Pacquiao's still in the game. He's still in the game. Okay? He's still. He's still in the game. Then the man asked him. The interviewer asked him, well, what about Mayweather? I don't think he's going to get Mayweather. I think after Mayweather saw him fight Keith Thurman, which I said in, my, in, my, in one of my last videos, I said that. I said that, right? I hate to say I told you so because I hate niggas when they say that shit, okay? But in one of my videos, I said, well, Mayweather watched Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. I, I, I said to myself, Mayweather's like, eh, I can see him beating Spence, and I don't think I'm coming back to, to this boxing thing, okay? It's too much of a risk, all right? Let me go fight my MMA fighters, all right? So, hey, if the man comes back, I would be very surprised, okay? Because, you know, all this exhibi exhibition, exhibition fights that he's trying to put Manny Pacquiao do, all this wishy-washy shit, he's already telling on himself that he's not ready for Pacquiao, and, is, and he know that lightning only strikes one time in that one spot. And he ain't going to get that again. Just like just like Marquez. You can give him all the money in the world. He said all the money in the world would not bring me back. Okay. To fight Manny Pacquiao. Because that. What I did to that man. Is more than that money you're going to give me. And I don't want to mess that up. Okay. Took me, took me 63 rounds. Okay. <laughs> to get to that point. To get a knockout from this man. So to knock Manny Pacquiao. So. When you hear these things, when he say, "Well, Manny pa uh, Mayweather," this is what Freddie Roach said. I don't think, I don't think um, Mayweather. Just help me. I'm, I'm trying to get my shit together. I told you, I'm new to this. Sometimes I be saying people names over and over again. Sometimes if I don't drink my coffee, I don't get shit right. So just, just bear with me with the shit, okay? All right. So when he said Mayweather, I don't think he's coming back. And you know, um, then another thing he said, well. Who do you want next for Manny Pacquiao? And he said, well, Danny Garcia, Spence. But then when he said Spence, he said, you know what? Spence just been in an accident, and we really don't want to hear the excuses. You know, oh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing something. I'm getting a little insight of what's going on. You don't want to hear the excuses. In other words, if Manny, P Manny Pacquiao put a whipping on Spence, he don't want to hear the excuses that Spence is not ready. And Manny Pacquiao put a whipping on Spence. If I said it wrong and I said Manny Pacquiao twice, please bear with me. It's in the morning, okay? Um, on Spence because we don't want to hear any excuses. So he's looking for Danny. Manny Pacquiao's looking for Danny, right? And he said, well, well, we're not saying Manny Pacquiao's looking for Danny yet, okay? We're not sure. But Freddie Roach said he would feel that Danny Garcia would be the next fight, okay? Since Danny Garcia said he was fighting for the fight of Southpaw, uh huh. Manny Pacquiao or Spence, they both southpaws. So, who you think Danny gonna pick? Spence or Manny Pacquiao? 
Of course he's gonna pick Manny Pacquiao. More butter, more cheddar, right? Um, it's a it's a fight that he's gonna make that money. Okay, if he wins, he he beat an icon, an old icon. But you can still say you you see this old shit. I'm not gonna make no excuses for Manny Pacquiao. Just like I ain't making no excuses for Spence with that accident, because Spence said he's ready, and he's been proving it doing the ninja dance in the gym. I mean, in the in the in the in the club, exercising in the club, right? You know, showing off his abs, talking about he want that heat, he want that smoke, he wants all that shit. So you know, I'm not making excuses for um. Manny Pacquiao, cause I've seen boxers that's older, like Hopkins. I've seen Foreman. I've seen other other great ones. All right, and that's another thing. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a video on when you should tell another man to retire. Okay, and and, and, and I'm getting sick of that. So I'm not making excuses that Manny Pacquiao's old because you know why? He's proven that he's still got that whip ass in him. Okay, so yeah, he might not be the same Manny Pacquiao, but. Listen, nothing stays the same, and he's still in the game, and he's still got a belt. He's achieving more than a lot of people thought he wasn't going to achieve. So let's stop the bullshit, okay? I don't make excuses for nobody. And once you step in that ring, that's what it is. You sign, and you seal, and you deliver. That's it, okay? So that's the end of that. So if he fights Danny Garcia, and he beats Danny Garcia, that's just another pay payday for Manny Pacquiao, another 20, 25 million, right? Another notch, another young blood. That got another one bites to dust, right? And then you know, hey, the years, the year is new. September, October, November, we could see a Spence fight. If that's the case. Me, I'd rather see Spence versus Manny Pacquiao right now. It doesn't matter what you think about, you think that Spence is vulnerable because of the accident. Because just like I said, Manny Pacquiao, I don't care if he's old, he's not old, he's in the ring, he's doing his thing. Same thing with Spence. Spence said he's medically clear. You know the you know the whole list of shit that I'm not I'm going by what Spence say. I'm not going by what the fans think. Okay? It's what he said. It's actions. I don't give a fuck about a thought. Like I shit. That shit is an opinion, a fart in the wind. That's it, it is. So, this is what I'm going through. I want to see Spence unify. I'd rather see that than Manny Pacquiao fight Danny. But if that's the case, so be it. Okay? So be it. Y'all can talk about that ducking shit or whatever. Whatever. We're going to see who's going to come out and say who they're going to fight next. Okay? In the next couple weeks or whatever. Okay? Maybe by the end of February we might hear something. But, yeah, Manny Pacquiao, he's still in the game. And I don't care what anybody say. The man is still in the game. I don't care if you think he's too old. And you say, well, he, what do you get out of being an old Manny Pacquiao? No, you get a lot of being an old Pacquiao. Manny, Manny Pacquiao proved that he's still in the game. No matter what. Yo, it's always going to be excuses with boxers. He, he he got hurt in training. Okay, he got brittle hands. Um, You know, he had a flu. Okay, it's always going to be some kind of excuses. Okay. Um, you know, catch weights, this weight, that, this, this, this. Listen, when you sign deliver, you better get your shit in there. You gotta get your work in. That's it. I ain't got time for every time somebody beat somebody, there's a reason why he beat him. Or his excuse. And then we move on to the, I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of that shit. When you sign, you 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 get in that ring, you deliver. Old, young, whatever. I'm done with this shit. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers every time turning around talking about Oh well, yeah, it was a catch weight. Oh, he was dehydrated. Oh, uh, 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 he got injured in sparring before he took the fight. Oh, he had the flu. Listen, Wilder had the flu and he delivered. Wilder had the flu with Ortiz and he delivered his first fight. Okay, so I ain't trying to hear that, man. When you when you sign to get in that ring, that's what that matters, yo. I don't care if you old, you young, you still putting in that work. That's it. Okay. If that's the case, if, if Manny, listen, Manny Pacquiao is so old, um, what's the sense that, that, why, why, if he's so old, then why we have to pay, why the pay-per-views is going to be so expensive? Why? If you think he's not worth it, being in a ring, that's another thing. We'll make another video, okay, of y'all talking about how Manny Pacquiao should have retired a long time ago, but guess what, now you all these fuckboys boys. Got two cents to offer to everybody's opinion about Manny Pacquiao should do this and Manny Pacquiao should do that. No, you hush your mouth. You hush your fucking mouth, okay? I don't want to... Oh, gosh. I need Jesus right now. I need...
I need I need I need a station. I need some kind of station to deliver me from from all this cursing. Something. Let me see if I get a station. I need to keep my I need to keep myself humble. I'm out here in Brooklyn. 95.5 Christian station. Just to keep me you know, sometimes I gotta hear that when I'm out in this jungle because I be getting, I be getting wild, yo. I be, I be on stress mode, man. So I need to calm the beast within me. You see what I'm saying? But listen, I don't want to hear these excuses. And those people that say he should have retired a long time ago, hush him out because I don't want to hear your opinion. Because your opinion been he should retire after that Jeff Horn. He wasn't the same Manny Pacquiao. He should retire. He should retire. And if we had listened to your dumb ass. If we had listened to your dumb ass and your stupid ass opinion, guess what? We'll never see him fight Vargas, Matisse, okay? Um, all the fights after Jeff Horn, okay? So I don't want to hear your bullshit. I don't care about your opinion. If you Ben say he should have retired, you should shut your mouth right now. I don't care about what you think about him fighting Crawford Spence. Just shut your mouth. Listen, I got to go to work. Have a nice day.